Hi everybody, welcome back to C2 Tactical in Scottsdale here again with my friend Destiny, my amazing son James. And we are working on dot acquisition and trigger reset. And we worked on it on the last video with basically pairs. You can work that triples, quads, whatever, right? But you know, you waste a lot of ammo doing that and bullets aren't cheap. So now we're gonna do the next phase of that which is not coming back to the same target but coming back to a second target. LuckyGunner.com is my go-to resource for in-stock fast shipping ammunition. Whether you're looking for rifle ammo, handgun ammo, rimfire ammo, or shotgun ammo, go to LuckyGunner.com for the best place on the internet to find it all in stock and ready to ship. They have stood by us all in this ammo pandemic, given us great education via their YouTube channel and their ballistic testing as well. Go and check them out and find great ammo ready to ship at good prices. We call this target transitions. We call this going from you know, a target to another target. Now, I know a lot of people are like, okay, so if I'm attacked by a gang of ninjas, right? You know, it's John Wick style and I've got a Kung Fu Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gun people. Okay, cool. Now, about a third of all attacks that we see on the big channel involve multiple attackers. We almost never see somebody have to engage more than three attackers before a fight is over in a private citizen engagement. Almost never. In fact, I've seen like two of them. Okay? And those were real weird special cases. However, where this target transition happens is, is that what, what tends to happen when you shoot somebody? What do they do? Bleed. They do bleed. You know what they almost never do? Stand still. <laughs> you, you whack somebody with a bullet, they're not gonna go, well, damn. <laughs> That's just not how it goes. Right. They're moving, right? So what is the chances I'm gonna need to shoot them a second time? Pretty high. Not always, but pretty high, okay? Uh, you know, I've seen guys shot once, ah, you know, they fall down and it's over for them. Okay, I've seen people shot nuns, and you know they see a gun and they're like, ah, and they run off and go do other things. Cool, uh, but if I pop him and he's still a threat, still got a gun in his hand, still you know uh, threatening to hurt people, cool, pop. And and as he moves, I've got to track him to get him a second time. All right, but we don't really have that out here on a static range, right? So so yeah, there are some these little robots that you can drive around and those things. Okay, cool. We're poors, all right? We don't, <laughs> we don't have that noise. So what we do have though is we have multiple targets, right? So what we have out here is we have a dude next to a dude next to a dude, but that dude looks suspiciously like our other dude, right? You know why? Same dude. Same dude. Same dude. So what we can do here is we can say, aha, I'm gonna hit this guy with a shot and then I'm gonna transition over to the guy that's a couple to the right or the couple to the left of him and hit that guy with a shot under the idea of I'm transitioning because I'm tracking, all right? Now I'm gonna tell you, when that shot breaks, remember the video that we worked on a little bit ago where you're watching where the shot mm -hmm. breaks up, right? <clears throat> the key to doing this quickly is not how fast you land on a target. It's how fast you get away from the last one. So if, it's, if you let this shot break and the shot comes back here and you reacquire your sight picture and then I go look at the other one and bring the gun over here, that will take me some time. If instead the shot breaks and my eyes start going and I bring it back down on the new one, I will save about a boatload of time. Depends on what speed you're going and how much that is, but it's a lot. So when we talk about competitive shooting, the competitive shooters, the USPSA, IDPA folks, this is everything. This is like, how fast can I get off? I gotta put two in this target, pop, pop, and now I gotta get off that target to the next target. Uh, now a lot of times that's with movement, stuff like that. In defensive shooting, we're almost certainly, when it's time to shoot, gonna be stationary. Okay, cool, we wanna be stationary because that's where we shoot best. And then, but we're going to get a shot, we're gonna let our eyes go to the new target and bring our gun over to that new target, acquire the sights, and while our trigger is resetting while the gun is coming this way, okay? And if we practice that, we can do it. We don't have to do it quickly at the start, but what we really wanna do is get the gun to go off and then let our eyes go to the next target and then bring the gun to that next target while our trigger resets, okay. all right? Let me show it to you. Okay, I'm gonna do this one at uh, just, to show you, so what I want you to watch here though, mm -hmm. and you guys, so sneak over here and sneak over here, is I'm gonna start here on this guy, and then as soon as the shot breaks, you're gonna see my head come over. So we move our eyes first and then the gun. If I move the gun with my eyes, watch what happens to the gun. So if I move my gun with the eyes and I see that, and you see I came over and had to come back? Now watch this next one, I'm gonna go the same thing on a gun with eyes, it goes over and back, I over correct. Mm -hmm. Whereas instead, if I'm here and I look first and then I bring the gun, I don't over correct. You see, I don't have yeah. to come back, it goes right to it. Especially with the dot. So here's the nifty part. You dot shooters, when you've opened your vision up a little bit, you're gonna, you're gonna see the dot. I look over here, guess what? I still have a dot. And as I come over here, my dot just has to come. It's because it was in the window, right? So I'm gonna do this with, without having to do it quick, 
okay? So I'm prepped. Let it fly, there goes my eyes as soon as it went. Resets to come up here, as soon as it does, I let it fly. Now for you on camera, I pinned the trigger on that so you could see it and feel it. That's a bad habit. It's simply for demo purposes, okay? So, did my hits go where I wanted them to go? They did go where I wanted them to go, and now I just wanna see that. Now I'm just gonna try this again. Here it is. Now I'm gonna do this here with, and just put the whole thing together. So there it is. So you see what I did there is I saw it. I, as soon as that one went, I looked over here, reset the trigger, brought the sights over here, and as soon as I got them over here, I let it fly. Okay. Okay. So what does that mean for my friend Destiny? Prep as you get there. Okay, and you said it's all about getting off target as, as soon quick as, as you can. So when I go this way, if I don't see my dot right away, so you got to go get to your dot. Okay. okay. Take the time to. Take the time. You got. I mean, obviously. Obviously, right. I, I'm not trying to scare the guy. Yeah. Right. Fibsa is real, right? Fudge, I'm being shot at, but Fibs is much stronger, right? Fudge, I've been shot. Got much it. stronger feeling. So I really want Fibs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, of course, as well, the other side of that is, is what's on the other side of that bad guy? Right. A bus full of nuns and orphans. Always, right? There's always a busload of orphans and nuns uh, on the other side of that guy. I'd really rather not shoot any orphans or nuns because it just the headline test, right? right. You know, YouTube celebrity shoots an orphan. Yeah, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Right? Uh, instead of YouTube celebrity saves the lives of everybody yeah. in an armed robbery. <laughs> right? So hit or what counts. Now, I know my overly accurate friend, you're gonna look and go, well, gee, John put two very good shots in there, so that's my only acceptable thing. What's my acceptable target here? The alpha. No. There's no A pluses, okay? There's no A pluses. And also, I know sometimes people look at that and they go, oh, wait, so John can do these things, whatever. Well, John has a lot of gun school and John has a lot of gun time. And if I couldn't do that, at 1,500 hours of gun school, I should feel bad about myself, right? Yeah. For a, little while. a little bit, right? And I do it professionally. So let's let Destiny get after it first. All right. Those were some really nice shots, though. Thank you. Two to four again? Sure. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and you could also go uh, four to two, right? However, it works. You know, you want to work it both ways a little bit. You know, which way is he going to run? I don't know. And how do you want me to start from out here? Yeah, we're gonna start way out okay. here. Again, we micro drill, right? So we, we pull into, I wanna isolate uh, skills. Eventually we put them all together into a single uh, task once we've uh, automated that task. Okay. Once we can do it without really thinking about it. Right. Okay. So we're gonna have our trigger prepped. Now here we're thinking about, remember what we had on the last drill, right, in the last video, is that we did two shots on a single target. Yeah. We're we'll do doing that, we're just moving to a different target for the second shot, okay? okay? So we just gotta continue to see. Keep seeing, keep pressing. Check in with your mind, check in with your body, check in with your hands. Ah, uh, <laughs> I brought my, I did the gun with my head instead okay. of Okay, all right, first. so you recognize that, and yeah. did that make you overcorrect? Did that make it difficult for you to get to the second target? It made me slower. Okay. Yeah. Because so, I noticed what I did, and then I thought and then about it. And you had to it. stop and think about it a minute? And then, yeah. Okay, cool. So, so now let's try to do it uh, and move the head, move our eyes first, right? Okay. So once we see it, we're checked in again. Such a hard thing to break. I did it again. All right, so now this time. <laughs> I don't I, know if I, I wonder if it, I think right. it's because of the dot. Watch now. Dot on this target. Dot on this target. We're not going to shoot this target. Okay. Okay. So we're prepped to the wall but mm -hmm. we're not gonna shoot this target. Okay. Now I want you to move your eyes, now move your gun, and then let it fly. Now move your eyes back to the other target. Oh, I took my finger off again. It's fine. Move your okay. eyes to the other target, bring the gun over to it. Move your eyes. Move your eyes. See how you're able to do that now? You see how easy that is for you? Yeah. So now this time, I want you to send one there, okay. and then move your eyes, okay? okay. Good. Now, no hesitation on moving your eyes. As Soon as that dot lifts, you know where it went. Did yeah. you know where the dot was when, the, when it started lifting? Yeah. You don't have to look. I know, I was trying to make sure it was See, there. See, you're always yeah. Yeah, you're like over confirming. Did I, am I good? Yeah. Did I do pretty good? Right, you already know. You can call the shot because you know where the dot was when it lifted, right? So now, let it go, oh, got him. Okay. And move on to the next one, try it. Good. Uh, that one was, the, I pulled both of them. Okay, I mean, happens to the best of us, right? So we, yeah. pulled, we, we decided there to, to grip with our whole hand a little bit. Did yeah. you bring any more ammos? I did. You should use some of those.
Okay, let's try it again. So again, we're just trying to prep our trigger. We're checked in with our hands, checked in with our eyes. Now check in with our trigger, right? So we want to keep that. We have to keep our dot where we want it until the shot breaks, okay? Nice. Uh, tell me about your, your process there. I think it went into the A, right, yeah. on both of those. Yeah. So, so what I saw there was a delightful process. You probably saw it too on camera. Yeah, I, I definitely felt um, like I didn't it, I think last time the reason I pulled to the left on both of those was because I like was whipping my head over rather than like a you know a slow focused so turn and then the trigger holster, press felt good. Holster up real quick. I want you to try something, but I want to show it to you before you you try it. Okay. So so now here's here's an interesting bit here. Uh, here I am and I'm on target, right? Mm -hmm. So watch the difference in how long it takes from the time that the gun breaks to the time that my head starts to move. Okay. So here's what I what I want to see the difference. So here's this, there it is. Pretty good, right? But did you notice it went bang and then I was like, oh, there it goes and then I kind of went. Now, now instead, what I'm really wanting to do, do you see okay. how much faster my head moved after the first one? Yeah. So literally, as soon as it starts to lift, I'm off of it onto the other target. Okay. So I want you to try one of each, right? right. Just try a good one and then I just want you to think, man, I want to be off this target. Okay. And my go signal is the is the recoil of the gun. Okay, so this first one. Just do like normal, right? So it goes bang, let it off, you know, move over to the next one and shoot it. Okay. Good. I want you to prep your trigger a little bit more fully, right? Okay. Now this time, prep, prep. Prepped all the way. Now as soon as it flies, I want that head movement. Much faster transition. Did you feel how different that was yeah, in your transition? Yeah, for sure. Try it again. Okay, prepped. Nice. Really good. Go ahead and holster up. Do you have any ammo on you? Uh, I don't love what that looks like, but I'm going to learn from that rather than... What do you mean when you don't like what because that Because I didn't like? get... I, some of them are outside. You're in the learning mode, Destiny. Yeah. It's, yeah. In a learning mode, guess what? If you never make mistakes, you're not at the edge of learning. You're not yeah. curious. You can't, you know, uh, again, this is like, okay, well, wait a minute. You're learning how to ride a bike, but you fell off. What the hell? Well, and I noticed it too, and that's what kept me from training for so long was because I feel like I have to be really good. Even when I come here to train by myself, I feel like other people are always watching, and so then I don't push myself to do anything different because I want to make sure it looks good. So first of all, you are a goddess among mortals out here. Your shots are genuinely like... I mean, I mean just your skill set is two orders of magnitude higher than your general person who shows up to a shooting range, who is three orders of magnitude over the people who own guns who don't show up to the shooting range, right. okay? So, so no shade on them, but I'm saying you, your skill set is significantly higher, okay? Now, I get it. Our problem is, is we start swimming in these little bitty ponds with people who can crazy shoot, and then it makes us feel like, well, I'm not as good as that guy. The guy's a freak, you know. <laughs> like, yeah. like he's he's doing stupid human tricks, you know. Yeah. Uh, and so, which I'm all about stupid human tricks, but like that's not normal human stuff, right? So, uh, and and again, when when we have, you're close. You're you're on the borderline of of a zones for those. Okay. Well, I'm working on the ragged edge of my capabilities. That's where I should be, right? Yeah. If I always hit every time, never make mistakes, I'm not pushing myself to grow. I'm just not, okay? For sure. Now, yeah. I get it. In some of these, when you're like, oh, okay, but John, when you're demoing, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm demoing at lesser speeds than my learning speeds because I'm trying to demonstrate for you guys, right? When I'm practicing right. at my speeds, my targets will look like that 100% because I'm going to push to the edge of my capabilities and let the wheels wobble off a little bit and then back into my 95% and then push them a little farther and then go, whew. That was too much. I got nothing there. Okay, that's where I'm at today. Make okay. sense? Yes. All right. Absolutely. All right, James, you're up. How many you got here? You got about uh, six left in that, and then you can go from there. You have the gun? Six, I, I have the gun. You have the gun. Right. Yeah, man. Prepping the trigger, so you're going to have the trigger prepped. There you go. Good. I love that you're just, just practicing it. That's amazing. Well done. 
rather at least kind of know what I'm doing before I try it. Yeah, I mean, you can step your right foot back a little bit. Your right leg dominant, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can step that right foot back. So so if you go back to your tempo days, right? Yeah. So a little bit of a neutral bow is fine. Okay. And and how much do you need of that? I mean, you're not a big guy. So right. so a little bit is probably good. Um, well, I find small people need a lot more. Um, I can stand, I can literally stand on one foot and it doesn't hurt me because, again, I'm party size, right? You're also just a badass, though. So. <laughs> what about that? So finger on prep. Good head, eyes, and then gun. Yep. Go back the other way. Yeah. Or you can go that way again. Cool. Prep. Good. I feel like something's slowing me down. I feel like I'm not transitioning off this part. Why does that? So once you start to see that sight lift, once you see that the, the green circle start to move. Go. No reason to wait, right? Yep. Whoa, did you feel how much faster your head movement is was? Way <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Now you're out. Yep. Tell me thoughts where where, where you're at head wise. You know, I, it's of course breaking more habits than just uh, shooting habits. I'm just trying to not let the bitch in my head tell me mm. that I'm bad, but uh. How many times on Active Self Protection Extra on YouTube, Ask Unlimited Apps, on these videos do we yeah. talk to, in particular women, who are so hard on themselves. Yeah. And so, so negative in their own head. So, so you, you're in great company with 95% of people. Yeah. But I do think you'll improve more if you learn that compassion. Yeah, and I, I feel so much more confident with the dot than when I first came in. Um, I don't feel as frustrated. I mean, I know it's gone Amish, but I've even considered like going back to Iron Sights because I felt like I couldn't get it. But but you got it. I got it and I love it, yeah. You got it. Yeah. James, what'd you find? Um, I mean, I'm just getting back into handgun. It's been a long time since I've been shooting, so this is really just getting back into those skills and it's like riding a bike. You, you remember them, feel them again, you just gotta get it correct. So, next time you go to the range, you may not be able to do multiple targets like this, right? If you're in an indoor range like this, they may not allow it, but you can hang a single target with maybe two smaller targets in it, and, and you can transition on that single target or something like that. Hope it helps you.